Yeah, I, I did. So, what was that uh, dagger? Uh, I have a vicious dagger. dagger of Elemental Doom. That's the yeah, dagger. Yes, 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 that's dagger it. Dagger of uh -huh. Elemental Doom. <laughs> elemental one-shot dagger. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, my. Uh, no, it's uh, a vicious dagger. Uh, <laughs> dagger dagger flame, of area. Would the flame thump technically still be active? It might be, considering that you guys were expecting to fight something else. Yeah, probably. Discord's ping is just jumping for me. Ooh. Here we go. Uh, let's start. Uh, advantage, sneak attack, sharpshooter. Oh, didn't we? Yeah, I mean, didn't we say this can't be like a sneak attack because you're not? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely not sneak attack. Sneak attack. Uh, well, yeah. oh, uh, how do you uh, try advantage? Um, yeah. So I'm surprised. Uh, as, long, surprised. as long as I go before they do an initiative, I have advantage. Yeah, assassination. Yeah, go for it. Uh, All right. I have advantage either way, so just hope that I roll a crit. Uh, let's see, where is it? It's here. So, how much health would they have? You have no idea. One HP. One. Two. <laughs> Take or leave it. Uh, uh, let's see. 18, 18 would just hit because it's meet or exceed AC, if I recall right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Damn. Yeah, that just hits. All right. Uh, that's much for me. So let me, let, me, let me count this up. 35. Okay. Uh, second dagger. How is it? That dad does uh, not look happy. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's her problem. Did uh, you to look happy? <laughs> okay, no sneak attack anymore. That's Jesus. Nice. What is your maximum on that? Uh, what, what maximum damage? Twenty. No, sorry, twenty. No, to hit. Right. Oh, twenty. Nine. And now it is time for initiative, guys. I wish I could like, do my bonus action with the surprise round as well, but I don't think you can. Mm. At least that's one bad wall for the gym. Assassins. Fader, 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 fader. That was real well. I was a three in a day. Yes, waiting for my character sheet to load because yeah. I have a lot of spells. Come on, game, I need one more level, and then I can be the ultimate sniper. Hope for a good order here. Come on. Well, hi, has it, look, has it rolled? Yep. Yes. Yeah. There it is. I think nice! In front of them. Fuck yeah. Just roll in front of the genie, that's the most important You did not one. just roll initiative for Pumpernickel. <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> well, well the, the two up in the shaft have no clue that there's a battle going on down here. But, but, this chicken knows. Yeah. <laughs> chicken is on alert. Chicken knows. <laughs> one, I, eye drifts, uh, one eye can see to the near future, and the other eye drift is kind of just looking to the left. <laughs> the, the, they're blind, remember? The abyssal chickens don't have eyes. Yeah, I can say it sees, could see anything before <laughs> the They don't even just have eyes. Glad that I still have Bump and Nicky. Well, it did uh, have eyes, but that was just for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Will, what do you wish to do? Oh, well, I'm first. Yes, put the spellcaster first. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> the invisible spellcaster. Commence nope. with plan A. <laughs> All right. So, a. time for bullshit. Yay. 5, 10, 15. 20, 25. <sighs> and we're starting off with the spell called Has Say Hello to My Little Friends. <laughs> Conjure woodland beings. What do you. Eight pixies. <laughs> oh, joy. The pixies. <laughs> 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 and they have the innate ability to stay invisible. Yes, yes, they do. 
I do love the fact that oh, he's Pixi- more Pixies. Tricksters. Yeah, Got pi- it. Pi- it's it's amazing to me that Pixies are, uh, are you know, that <laughs> low of challenge what? rating that you could summon that many of them. But they are some some nasty things when you get right down to it. I mean, yes. it's the the yes, indiscretion on whether or not like the spells that they have because I don't understand why they got given polymorph. I mean, isn't that random creatures? Technically speaking? Nope. Choose yep. one of the following options. To the, uh, yeah, I, think the only, I think the only reason why they're, why, why they're such a low challenge rating is they've got one HP. But pixies True. used correctly are devastating. True. That's what we're one hoping. Do <laughs> so they go on your initiative or their own initiative? Uh, they go. I should roll roll initiative for the summoned creatures as a uh, group. Okay, so you see the one with the red dot. Uh, yeah. Put your thing on that and then roll initiative for it. That's the one that's going to represent the entire group. Cool. Pixie. All right. See, now it's useful that you were the front of the pack. That's what we're All right, and uh, I think... Hey, you know what, let's put a shillelagh. No, no, no shillelagh. Don't want to show anything. I'm done. All righty, then. It's time for the Earth Elemental, who will respond to its master being attacked... Let's see. Try and check to see how far I can move in one one step. Huh, I can't quite get to any of you. But it is going to use its entire movement moving up t- towards Lanissa, trying to block you from throwing anything else. I don't think that's going to work exactly the way it hopes, but, you know, it's but, an Earth know, Elemental. A f- Lanissa! Well, actually, it would work in the sense that unless... Actually, no, do you have sharpshoot? Hmm. Does your sharpshooter work if something else is in melee with you? Or does that... Uh, it doesn't. Okay, uh, so, yeah. That's crossbow expert, what you're thinking of. Yes, there but we go. I... Oh, I'm sorry, the other... I've got both the, the both the elementals work on, on the same side, team. So this other one's coming up here. There we go. So two in front of you guys, because it has no idea that there's pixies over here. What do you wish to do, Lisa? I am. Um, oh, both of them are here. Bonus action. Disengage. <laughs> uh, Excellent choice. Run over here to get an angle and then throw two daggers at her. I'm still going before she had a turn on initiative, so I still have advantage. Yeah, I suppose that works. I wanted to throw two daggers. Uh, that doesn't matter anyway. Uh, where is it? 19. That hits. I feel like I'm going to be bit after this. Uh, I mean, the difference isn't that big, but if I crit, yeah, it might be worth it. No, no, that misses, I think. Yep, that misses. Uh, how much feet did I move? I moved 25. So let's move an other 15. Right. Oh, I can move one more. Uh, because I have a feeling she's very angry at me and will start running my way. So that's the plan. I think they can handle, like, two elementals. I've seen a lot. Phaedra, what would you like to do? Uh, what size creatures are these? Uh, large. Large. Okay, cool. Um, um, she'll try to... Uh, let's go for this one in front of Shiori. Um, bonus action, Shield Master, Contested Athletics to make it go prone. Alright. 
Give me one second. Is Phaedra going to beat a federal mental in athletics? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. Next Probably time. not. Mm, yes, actually. <laughs> yes. This is one of the ways that dwarves shine. <laughs> it's cool. stone. Stone <laughs> I am your bitch! <laughs> or wait, what? you are my bitch. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> wait, start that! <laughs> Oh, that's the most Phaedra insult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I need more me. coffee. <laughs> I, could, I could just imagine in a fucking battle, and she's just being like, I will make myself your bitch. Wait a second, that's not how it works. <laughs> she only just turns and looks at her for half a second, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> get confusion damage. No. Phaedra <laughs> exudes confusion. psychic damage by her by her stupidity, um, and then she is going to uh, actually for her um, for her action she is casting a spell. Oh. Since when did you do that? Since she became a warlock. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> getting everyone to warlock. <laughs> <laughs> So mirror image. Well, remember her, 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 no, no, her patron is Santa Claus. Yep. Two. Um, what's a good mirror image? Mm, okay, that works. Uh, and that's her turn. Alrighty, Shiori. Uh. Yeah, we're going to deal with the ones in front of me, I think. Oh, we're still waiting for anything else to go down. So, action. Fifth level, because it's all oh, cast at fifth level. I'm casting Elemental Weapon, Cold. Okay. On my uh, weapon. And, because I don't really want to waste the uh, primed target in front of me. I'm just going to action search and bap it since it's down on the ground. Alright, you have advantage. Oh, hello, cute little guy. Sixteen. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Oh my. Oh 21. boy. Oh, that was a 30-30 bit. <laughs> nice. Fucking love elemental weapon. I barely use it, but I love it. <laughs> Anything else? Nope, that's it. The Dowd looks quite angry about um, what this is going on. Uh, let's see. What will the Dow be doing today? Dying. A. Hey. All right, the um, the Tao points at you, Lanissa, and casts Phantasmal Killer. Please roll me a Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Wisdom you got this. Throw. Wait, is this where is it? Where is my? Don't I have ancestry? Would this help? Uh... That helps against charmed. It's not. It doesn't help you against the separate spell. This is a frighten effect. Yeah. It's a frighten effect. That's fine. And damage. Oh, you resisted. Thou does not look happy about that, and she uses her natural earth glide. To descend into the into the rock, she kind of vanishes from from sight. Run, run, you coward! Pixie. Um. One second. Yep. I'm trying to figure out where. Sorry, just trying to figure out where exactly on the map the uh, the 
the gin was at that point. There you go. Mm. All right, so I just read up that the, this is how the invisibility works. They have the concentrate on it. All right. So I guess they are concentrating on it now. So if I have them concentrate on something else, they're going to lose the invisibility. But that right. is fine. They have a speed of 10, no, 30 flying. So 10... 15, 20, 25, 30. 10, 15, 25, uh, 20. 10, 20, 25, no, 20, 30. It's just going to be a lot of this now, just placing. It's a game of checkers. Yep. So on that one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This one was a step a bit, so it could go 5, 15, 20, 25, 30, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30. Five. Ah, like that. Pixie wall. <laughs> Starting from the left. Uh, not much. Uh, I just say. will commence them to pull him off these uh, elementals. All right. Just checking to make sure that there isn't any reason why they can't be polymorphed. Mm -hmm. Nope, they are not immune, immune to, to changes as far as I can see. 60 feet, so I think pretty much any of these can reach any. All right. Oh, no, these ones can't reach. These ones in the back can't reach. Okay, those. so these ones in the back are going for these guys? Yes. So, but starting from the left, we're starting with these. Okay. So, um, one, number one on What's that the, one. What's uh, the saving throw? The saving throw is, uh, see here. What's its DC? And what? Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah I'm looking. Uh, DC 12. And it's wisdom. Yes. Okay. Okay, so that one's polymorphed. What what what's the form going to be? A fussy little bunny. All right, bunny. <laughs> bunny. Hold on, I'm trying to see if there's actually a token for that. Uh, you don't need a token for that. Maybe just I don't know, tinted yellow. All right, I can take that. I don't think the Indians ever anticipated to add a bunny unless they're gonna go for a Monty Python route. Some people do. <laughs> All right, that one's polymorphed. Which one's yeah. which one are you aiming for next? The other one? Yeah, yeah, next one. So another wisdom saving throw. It just beats it. Okay. Next one, same same thing. And that one fails. fails it. Bunny? That one turns into mm, a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right. Those two have been polymorphed. This one is going to go for that one. That's so that's the fourth. That um, one failed. Nice. <laughs> um, a house rat. <laughs> <laughs> it's like suddenly everything's just turning into animals and like we're like <laughs> <laughs> and four more uh, saving throws on that one uh, so no sorry yeah until it fails then or it fails immediately <laughs> oh sorry three left 
three polymorphs left. Uh, these what, ones. What is, what is this one t turned into? Oh, um, uh, a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> oh dear goodness. And um, these three will just giggle. <laughs> You hear it, and you, you, so you see a bunch of pixies suddenly uh, fading into view around you as oh, yeah. the uh, the various earth elementals turn into weird creatures. Uh, yes. And then you and hear, behind you, all the, Shuri all the, all the pixies are giggling. Are giggling behind you. All the pixies are giggling, and you can hear Will giggling. Ah, right, Will is still invisible. Will Interesting. So yeah, the two creatures over here it. are just kind of wandering around lost. <laughs> Will. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, quick, try to try to get to get the animals. Don't hurt them though. That will break the spell. And uh, hmm, action. Jesus, did not think it would be this effective. So they they, they can only cast polymorph once a day, correct? Yes. So I have three uses left because yes, one uh, of them failed. I, I am going to mark off which ones cast the polymorph already. Hmm. These ones have not. Correct. And those three are uh, still and in technically invisible. Hmm. They didn't cast anything. Let's see here. <laughs> Bless you. Is that the end of your turn, by the way, Will? Uh, I'm thinking a little bit. But... Can Will ready a spell? What would you like to ready? Can he ready fairy fire? Uh, see here, the range is sixty feet. Okay. So if he sees the uh, dial pop out, he's gonna put a fairy fire on that location. Well, hold up, though. That is also concentration. That is true. That is also concentration. Because I believe woodland beans is now concentration as well. Yes. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah, that is true. I have. I keep forgetting. Druid only concentration spells. <laughs> Hold on. Where was I standing? Uh, where, did anyone remember where? Yeah, I feel like, like yeah. Ten feet. I don't think you moved that Five, much. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Touch. Jump on Shiori. <laughs> okay. These two creatures here are just basically also wandering around lost. They have no idea what they're doing. What's going on? <laughs> Lanissa, what about you? What What do you wish to do? Um, I don't see the Tao. Weird question. Can I jump and like end my round in the air? In the air, no. Ah. Uh, because then the thing wouldn't know where I am. Uh, I'm just gonna. <clears throat> How bad is this guy looking? Oh, wait. They're all He's animals. You, you you don't see any <laughs> elementals anymore. You just see animals. They're all fussy, uh, li fussy little animals. Uh, in that case, I'm going to hold my actions to stab the Dao if she appears in front of me, which I have a feeling she will. All right. And I'm going to stab A held action is just one attack, right? Yes. It's your attack action. It, it's, it's also your reaction. Mm -hmm. So if you if you had extra attack, then you could both. You just, you just can't hold your bonus. Oh, Actually. really? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
you're holding the attack action essentially. Yes. Okay. You also, if you're holding a spell, you lose that spell if you don't end up casting it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm holding my action to stab her. Okay. Or to either one of those. Vidra. Hmm. I'm thinking. Um... Uh, are we still trying for Operation Nom Nom? I think so. I wasn't sure what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, okay, it's going to hold her attacks for the Dow action. And she's staying right there. Hold on, I think I have the wrong thing. I'm getting a lot more overlap than I usually am used to. One second. No worries. Okay, I don't know. Need headphones doing that. But the microphone, it's picking up what you're saying, and it shouldn't. So I need to make sure that um, I'm actually on the right mic, because I've got at least three arranged around here. Only one of them. Okay, I guess I'm being sounds out. Uh, all right, uh, so what are you doing, John? Very no, you're good. Uh, holding attack action for the Dow. Okay. Sorry. Question. Yeah? What kind of action would it be to do a bag? Do you have a bag available? I have a bowering available. <laughs> That would be an an action. You have to to grab it before it can it, it can squirm out of your hand. But I will attempt with this one that's right in front of me. All right, I'm gonna use the rat stats for all of the creatures because they're that kind of size. Mm. Uh, all right. So it's going to try to wiggle free with dexterity. So make your make your uh, athletics roll. Ugh. Unless you get a yeah. <laughs> you, you snag you snag the little rat and what do you wish to do? I beg. The, the oh boy! <laughs> I hope this works. <laughs> I know if it starts its turn in there, it's devoured. <laughs> so I just want to make to make sure that the bag of devouring is also an extra dimensional space that can actually fit a the um a, a full elemental. I like how it describes it. This is an orifice to another dimension. Well, <laughs> technically, it only ta ta it only devours animal and vegetable mineral ma ma material. Doesn't mm. say anything about mineral. Yeah, That's... but it would kill the creature and the strapping elemental in the bag if it fits. Yeah, that's why. I, that's what I'm checking on. And we're tricking the bag. It's a rat. Hmm. Okay. So, but it technically works. Unfortunately, it's only going to be able to work once. Because as soon as the rat is 
consumed by the bag of devouring the elemental form is so big and so massive that it completely destroys the bag of devouring thankfully for you the elemental itself ends up elsewhere it is shred blinks apart out of existence just like shreds just litter the ground now but no elemental i'll take that Okay, it's one attack action, so we're just going to... That was your attack not... action. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a grappler. I and mean, I don't really want to attack anything else. Because I'd rather them stay as animals at the moment. Alright. Uh... Right, the Dao is yeah. up on the GM layer. Alright. Okay, Pixies. And these guys are div are these guys uh, concentrating on polymorph, or is polymorph uh, not a concentration spell for them? Uh, it is concentration. So, it's always concentration. Um, three of them still have concentration up. Then a little bit. Three of them still have concentration up. Two of them do not, because even though they use polymorph, because they have, they're no longer they're not concentrating on a spell that's in use. But three of them can't do anything because of because of that. So. It was something like, uh, was it second, third, and fourth, or because I don't, there was two resistances. I think first, second, or oh no, sorry, first and third. It, only this one uh, uh, that uh, concentration then because the rat is gone. Okay. This one is uh, got it. This one over here is. That's why I put the little pin there. Yep. Uh, right. So, uh, the pixies. Uh, other things they can do. Believe it or not. Uh, need to... Uh, yeah, okay, that one's for later. No, you can't be serious. They have that. Is that that concentration? Okay. <laughs> oh, you're so far away. Um. They can't see Will either. No, they Could they not. feel over? They can't feel where Will is, even though he's the one. It just in connected. a broad sense, just that Will yeah. is somewhere in the vicinity, not the exact mm. location of Will. Okay. Uh, what? Well, don't you have boots of Elven kind? Will has boots of Elven kind, yeah. I think he was talking about the fairies or pixies. Oh, but they're flying, right? <sighs> Let's see here. All right. So this one and this one go over there. This one five, ten. Wait, is Lunisa, is Lunisa visible? Yeah, is Lunisa's visible. Is she? Yes, because she is. she's a shadow. Oh, thing. that's right. She is a shadow thing. No, that, never mind then. She's not visible. She's blending in with no, the shadows. No, I am visible. Oh, you are? visible? That's that's a stuff. My brain actually. I can be invisible in Shadow, or at least not yet. <laughs> not yet. Was, the, was this the... No, wait. That is the, how they were, right? Basically, no? yeah. Close enough. Yeah, okay. Triangle formation. Uh, sorry. They only moved around a little bit. Fuck it. It's hard to not move around when you laugh. Fair. Yeah, where's the Deo? You have no idea. They have not shown up yet. No, no, sorry, but in the, in the turn order. Uh, right, before, right before them. Technically. Okay. I was wondering where well, wait, shouldn't have appeared. <laughs> uh, right. Pixies have another spell they could cast. It's touch, though. So, Phaedra and Shiori starts lifting off the ground. 
Well, <laughs> Phaedra already has Boots of Flying. And I don't think she needs that spell. Yeah, you can save it. I have Flying Boots. Yeah, so These fit... ones give you 60 feet. Oh. Of right. movement. It's not like it matters if she saves the spell or not. Fair. No. Yeah. they're gonna spawn in 10 minutes or something. And like therefore that. they are concentrating as well. You stop their they flying. They are no longer invisible. Yes, uh, but they can fly back again. Okay. And then uh, see here. It's a touch. Wanted to give it to Lunissa too. Yeah, it's fine. If the Dow If the Dow in front of me, she's gonna get stunned before she can do anything. Or at least that's the plan if I can hit her. Okay. Tell you what. Uh, the rest of uh, th this one's gonna fly five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and then in this area it's gonna cast spell and tangle twenty foot. So okay. it's gonna encompass those ones basically. Uh, uh, what's the DC? Uh, DC is the well. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Basically <laughs> that. Holy hold on. <laughs> Negative four. Well, they're not going anywhere. And Sorry, you guys were saying this is going to be a hard fight. So. Like that. And uh, you guys but have that good is spells. Point of range for duration. Da, 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 da. A creature in the area when you cast the spell. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It was when I cast it. So they are restrained. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's uh, not that we have. Listen, listen, it's not that we have good spells, it's because of the ball's bullshittery. Yes. Mm -hmm. And these pixies will just... He's not a dwarf, he's a gnome. Fly oh, a little bit. They fly around, they flutter around quite a lot and laugh hysterically. Hysterically. Okay, these guys can... I'm just gonna quickly... Yeah, that's... Oh, one of them actually does manage no. to break free of the entanglement. <laughs> um, that's a strong ass rat. Okay, yeah. It still can't do anything. It's like it's like locked in there. Well, it's your turn. Uh, okay. Um. I call it rolled eighteen on the die. <laughs> <laughs> Minus four. Holy yep. Shit. Will is gonna now. Move out of the way. Uh, 10, 15. Mighty Mouse. Then, yeah. It's not even a rat. That one is like, that one's a skunk <laughs> anyway. Yeah. But mm. I decided I was going to use the same, same just thing. It's just easier. Tears apart a vine and goes. And the, and the bunny, is, st the bunny is, still, is still trapped. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a bunny and skunk over there. And the. Uh, me me meanwhile, the squirrel is bouncing around, still very confused. Lanissa. You see a pixie, fl a pixie flying towards you. I look very sad that I don't see the dowel. Uh, uh, do I have any... Can I? There's no check I can make to find where she went, right? Sadly, Earth Glide lets it uh, glide without disturbing the Earth, so it's leaving no trail. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep myself ready to uh, punch people. That's it. Phaedra. Uh, Phaedra is going to uh, um, take a bob and her shield, and she's just going to start smacking her axe against her shield. You wanted us as slaves? Come and get us. Stop cowering like a fucking coward. Cowering like a fucking coward. Sherry, what do you wish to do? 
Uh, I'm going to kind of go a little bit over this direction, maybe about five feet off the ground, essentially. And I'm going to hold my action to blast it down the face of Eldritch Blast. Because I don't know what range she's, where she's going to be. Okay. I'll, I'll probably go up maybe another ten feet. Just to get a good angle. Alright, at this point, uh, you guys wait, and you wait, and you wait. The Dao seems to have gone far, far away. <laughs> Dao are not uh, stupid, that... and they, they, they... Dao are greedy, malicious beings, and they suddenly notice, oh shit, these guys are far more powerful than I thought. They are going to run away. <laughs> no, that's exactly what she's then, done. Then we're going to get the... F yeah, oh. and we're going to go with the other plan. Uh, <laughs> hmm, all of my subordinates turn into woodlanders. <laughs> bizarre. <laughs> this is a dab okay. from, from un, you know, from underground living th sort of thing. It's not going to necessarily know what a woodland creature is. Yeah. Little oh, Cinder okay. will go pick up Will. And Fader will go uh, pick up Lunisa. Yeah, so. I guess we're. Yep, we're not going to clear an entire fucking plane. Nope. But uh, we are going to do something once we get over, uh, through the portal, though. Whoops. Oh, ah, that's why. I am on the wrong level. There we go. And time to you guys back here. So you come back up th through the tunnel, reappearing before Irk and, and Viren, who are apparently just sitting around or standing around, uh, chatting or doing whatever they're doing. Well, well, you guys have... <laughs> well, it's not like you were actually down there that long. No. Mm -mm. A minute or two. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> Right. Um, okay, so our mission to cure this base. This obviously not secure points at the portal. And can anybody get rid of this? Mm. I mean it's a portal to apparently another plane. So, make an arcana check. I will also think on this because I'm like, I know a little bit of magic, but I don't a lot. Jesus. From what I know about planes, they're usually quite solid. But there's got to be a way to get rid of portals, though. Also, know. roll me an intelligence check. Who, Phaedra? Any any one of you participating in this conversation? Please, God, not Phaedra. <laughs> um, what what was the roll? Intelligence. Just roll me an intelligence check. Well, I have a plus five, so. Ah, Viren. Uh, even though you're thinking about the port, you know the portal and some ramifications, and I'll get to you, Shiori, in a moment about about that. You're listening to them talk and talking about destroying said portal, and you're probably just there shaking your head because it occurs to you. The whole reason this base exists is because people are trying to get the stuff on the other side. Thus, if there was a way to destroy this portal, uh, that would completely invalidate the whole purpose of why people reactivate it. Well, they didn't tell us not to. That is true. So that's up to Viren if he wishes to, to explain that. Shuri, for your... This doesn't make you think of any portal you've ever heard of that's unnatural. You think this might actually be a natural gateway between uh, this plane and the Earth Elemental Plane. That this entire island that you're standing... Well, this, you don't know it's an island, sorry. Uh, this entire place that you're standing on is actually somewhat of a bridge between the... The, whatever world you're on and the elemental plane of Earth. 
Is that more of a natural portal? From what I can tell. Oh, uh, okay. I could block this, if we want to block this. Additionally, Varian, with your intelligence check, you would have real you would realize that the whole the, the reason why this the, there was heavy duty magic on the doors and put up a, a uh, that earth element that you know that elemental um, exclusion field was essentially to keep beings from this portal yeah. from getting into the rest of the lab complex. Those were on the safety note, measures. <laughs> how does one recharge the gun? Hmm. I don't know how that thing works. Well, I was more ox. Recharge what? You, you, you the got cut off. The amulet that was probably the amulet that was blocking somebody with a lot of enchant enchanting power. I think Will is quite enchanting. <laughs> <laughs> and they would also have to know this. They'd probably have to know the spell as well. It's a question. Biggest though. It's like a ten foot wide, yeah. ten foot. Yeah, it's, it is basically right, right? ten foot, ten foot. Cool. I she goes. I can put a door on it because the robe of many useful items does have this one. Nice. It conforms to the opening. As long as it's not bigger than that 10 foot. Wow. That should at least work temporarily. Yeah, and we can let them know. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure one of the mages back at the academy should be able to fix this thing. Okay. She'll tear the patch off and place it right above the thing and it'll make it and she'll have it barred from this side. By the way, Viren, also considering your 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 intelligence role, you also get the feeling that whatever is going on outside the complex, whatever potentially turned those people on the front steps to stone, is part of the can you cl clear this out mission. Part of the what, sorry? That whatever's whatever danger lurks just beyond the doors to the complex is part of what you're here to take care of. Yeah, I was afraid of that. What? All right, well, make sure the two better. Make sure it's secure. Then before we leave, we still have the outside to deal with. Ah uh, no. <laughs> it says clearly on the map. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, but we do have to go out there. <clears throat> Lest the same thing happen again. Okay. Well, this area is secure. Uh, we... At least we have... Because uh, we don't know how long this is going to take. At least this... We can return to this area know that we'll be safe um okay so outside then so we wish to rest at all yeah how long how long have we been here that's a good question from you know all you're wandering around and attacking stuff and investigating things including like i think at least one short rest i think you've been here a few hours two Two short rests. You see, yeah, you've you've been here a few hours. Probably some of you are starting to feel hungry. All right. So we want to tackle this in the morning, then. Probably a good idea. Okay. I say we. Pick one of the rooms up to the top end and shut the door to it. All right. 
Um, the big bedroom. Has probably... two entrances. Oh. Hmm. One leads to the the one room that leads outside. So, what would you guys like to do? Here's my fucking journal. There it is. Um, one entrance. Okay. There's... Done with your your sleep schedule? Yeah. Oh yeah, we left at night, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We did. Day. Didn't sleep. And it was daylight outside when you looked out there. Yeah, we left. I forgot about that. Yeah, we we get to sleep in one of the bedrooms. Sorry for the noise. What? <laughs> oh my goddamn rations on my fucking computer machine to mark it off. I have so much inventory and there's no way to search my inventory. <laughs> so there are uh, two completely empty rooms uh, on the, you know, up north, uh, the north side of the, the complex. Um, that had reused as ancient bedroom, you know, bedrooms. Uh, one that has a statue in it. Um, and there's the big room, which could fit all of you easily. Uh, but it has two doors that could lead to the outside. Three doors all together, but the third one is to a bathroom. Um, but it also has a skeleton in it. There's also the dorms. Yes, there are also the dorms. Uh, both of which have, like, one of them has a statue in it. Another one has bits of, bits of a skeleton in it. In addition, uh, you know, it's the cafeteria. Well, the cafeteria has two doors, plus the kitchen. Uh... Sorry, cat. That's real close to your mouth. Yeah, but she, she, she's been, you know, cur curled up and doesn't want to acknowledge. But you know, just wants to stay sleeping for for hours on end. So when she comes to see me, it's like I have to spend time with her. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, the, the, you you guys have have the map there. There's the manufacturing room, but that has two doors. Yeah, so basically the only the dorm rooms and the bedrooms and the bathrooms have a uh, single door. The dorm rooms might be a better. Oh, place and the and the armory, the armory also has a uh, single door. Yeah, let's let's go to the dorms. It's right by the main entrance too, and everybody could probably have a bed. We're going to go to the one that doesn't have a statue. Yes, correct. The, the one that doesn't have a statue doesn't exactly have any beds. It says bed space because uh, there's some crushed, crushed wreckage in there from the uh, the single golem arm and the uh, the bits of skeleton. The the golem had crushed some of the point. Yeah, I can't understand you. Uh, the, the the room the 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 the, 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 the statue room has intact furnishings that are just old and degraded. The other room has a big hole in the floor from a skeleton and part of the part of some of the beds being crushed into it. Uh, well, the skeleton was a person at the time, but you know, decayed. <laughs> but uh, there's also a golem arm in that room. Yeah, we're not sleeping in the room with the statue. Okay. Oh, Jesse apparently has two beans. No. <laughs> I have a bean and then we'll drive to throw them. Well, through one bean and it almost went into the water. And the uh, so was Oh, maybe somebody else threw it. I can't remember. But it almost went in there and I picked it up off of the floor and was like, Yeah, no, nah, we don't we So don't need for now you put that. the you put the, the iron door on top of the Top of the portal. Yes. Yep, right on top of the shaft there. 
Near it. Oh. No eating that. It's a pen. You don't want a mouthful of ink. It'll be poisonous to you. I have an inkling that's a bad idea. Hey. So you gather into the into the one dorm with a with a body in it, and uh, set up your bed rolls, assuming you have any. Yep, they just got hers. Sure, you're just gonna sit in her trance state up against the door. That's sensible. I like if the door opens. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Hope. <laughs> Oh, uh, we should still probably take watches. I don't trust... I know we cleared this place out, but I don't trust it. Yeah, and you do occasionally hear the golems walking around out there, but uh, none of them have been seemingly threatening you since you picked up those badges. Con VIP badges. <laughs> don't knock them. Badges are useful mm -hmm. things. They are. I keep all mine. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got badges since I since I was I don't know how young I was. First time I remember ha having a badge, but I know my mom was pregnant with me and while well, she was at a convention, so <laughs> started started young. Oh yeah, <laughs> started in the womb. Due to my love for things like Star Wars. Oy. No kitty, that's not food. I can definitely take at least the last four hours to watch because if I do the trance right away, then it's just like I just sit here anyways. Oh, um, yeah. Fader will take last watch for Does sure. Does anyone not have a bedroll? Will has one. I was asking, has one. I was asking who uh, doesn't. Erk, er, do you have a bedroll? I think it's kind of standard equipment. I don't know if I do. Really. I mean, I have a better role I don't use, technically. Okay. Do you have a explorer's pack or something like that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> like no, I've got pack. tools. No. Yeah, I was dealing with this with a party in the field the other day. Was that you guys? Oh, I don't yeah, that, that was you guys. That yeah, was you, you guys last last weekend on on the Saturday game, wasn't it? Hmm. No, we're innocent. Where, where, where I said that, okay, people that, without a bed roll sleeping in this condition, exhaustion, with, unless you get roll high enough on your constitution check. Nope, that was not us. Not us. Okay, that was a, di that was a different group. Yep. <laughs> um, Eric does have a bed roll. Okay, so every, everyone's covered. No one is sleeping directly on the stone floor. Got it. I just wanted to check on that because I know so, I, I know some group was and they did not find that very pleasant. E, this is why I'm glad I am an elf. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, it might have been my Christmas Stride group. Anyway, so if you're t t taking watches, roll your perception checks. I guess I'll take the first watch. Why not? Cuckoo. I'll take the last two. I thought Shiori was taking the last two. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll take the first one and the last one. The, you, you, there's enough elves in the party, it's very easy for them to get to, to, to take reaches <laughs> and take watches. Yeah. I'm going to perceptions. Why do you roll stealth? Oh, oops. I mean, <laughs> yeah, plus 12 to either one of them. Yeah. I stealthily perceive, apparently. <laughs> anyway, you guys keep, keep watch. Um, every once in a while, you can hear the golems walking through the hallway. Uh, somewhere in the in the complex, but other than that, it's you know not too bad. 
You don't hear any um, sounds of uh, things wandering around in the ceiling. You don't wake up and suddenly see a statue standing and watching you. You don't see anything else that looks out of place. You didn't hear any sounds of the um, of the iron door being bursted open or anything of that nature. So everything seems fine. So as you get, as you guys wake up and stretch, what would you like to do? Question about this uh, complex. What was it made of? Uh, stone. Good to know. <laughs> That's yeah. concerning. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in that tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. Somebody might think you were up Nothing. to something. No. Said in Snape voice. <laughs> uh, as we're going to uh, Shory's going to say, as a reminder to everyone, Rely more on your ears, more out there, not on your visual sight. Just in case it's like a basilisk. Huh? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> Very oh, funny, Will. Stone. Let's go see what is waiting for us outside. Just to be clear, this was a long rest, right? Yes, yes, this yes. was a long rest. Spells, spells, spells. <laughs> I have to spells. change them quickly. I need to set up a fucking loadout. <laughs> okay. Now when you guys are ready. You can move on without like me being done. I'm just with my spell list for a couple of seconds. Just move. Go on. I can't prepare spells. I prepare Slightly. axe to face. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have like maybe uh, up to 50 spells. To Druid problems. This is why I like players. Wizards have, have a, you know, have to keep finding Set. their spells and whatnot, yes. or working them out. They they don't have them all right away, so that gives them rather time than to being think a cleric or druid, where it's just you yeah, know you get all of them. I mean, I love the versatility of those classes, <laughs> though being yeah. able to do that. But yeah, in, in the morning, what? <laughs> what are we doing today? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that there's a problem with, with uh, people getting turned to stone. Uh, you know that there's a possibility of that finding good... elementals or things from another plane. Um... Mm. You know that uh, you didn't see any greenery when you looked outside, and that's why you hated looking outside. So what you're telling me is uh, water briefing. <laughs> yes. Take it as, as you will. Will. <laughs> oh, what if you just get a whole bunch of druids together, and when you're going into a dungeon, you just flood the dungeon and then go in with. <laughs> you know that that is an option if you, if you play your if you play it right. You know, just just five druids casting create water at max level. We don't. We don't happen to be just carrying around a jewel worth one thousand gold. Uh, let me check. <laughs> Bank and such. I'm guessing no. Well, we left a lot of the the shiny stuff at back. The stuff we got from the giants that I, I we left back at the tavern. Yeah. But no, I don't see anything in the bag of holding. No, no. You, you do have several options. Uh, just just to, re to remind you, since 
you probably would think about this at some point. Uh, number one, you were just in a uh, in the Earth Elemental plane where you saw a bunch of sparklies up all along the walls, and you never bothered to spend time trying to get anything because you were trying to get don't, out of there as fast as possible. Me, Frodo. <laughs> 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 you also uh, have the ability to create a door that will lead you and only you, you because it needs your Iron Rose's access pet the badge or you know someone else's access to get into that will instantly take you back to your clubhouse and from there you can easily get back to your tavern to whichever place you left said jewels but well, it'll be a permanent connection between here and there yeah but we don't we want do. a permanent connection to this shitty place yeah and there's no jewels in there either i just checked but, but i mean Thirdly, someone in, thirdly, you, know, you could, that could always go back to the transit to the transit hub area. Uh, say that we need to get some more equipment, and um, you know, you you know, port back, but you need to reactivate it on this side. But you were told that there might be some way of doing that, and you found those weird crystals that might be able to do that. Right, yeah, in the um, golem manufactory, mm -hmm. and in the storage room. Oh, yeah. And Will has two on him as pocket warmers. Exactly. <laughs> so you do have options. All right. Uh, Will is done with his spells preparing. Can we just deal with what's outside and then leave? <laughs> I'd rather not. But if we're going to, we have to. I mean, we have to. It's part of the job. Mm hmm. All right. Hmm. Can you give me ten minutes? No, wait. Yeah, can you give me a minute? We're not. Yeah, I'm feeling feeling that we could use some backup. Back up. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be interesting. So let's see here. What should I go with? I'm thinking a air elemental. Oh. <laughs> All right, concentration up to an hour. Yep, so Will is just concentrating on that. And this appears in front of you guys. Oh, all right. You know, fight elementals with elementals. Fair. Okay. Well, what you are waiting for, we'll have only have an hour with this fella. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna stick around. <laughs> I, I just imagine like she's just like staring, like watching, like we'll do this, and then it's like, okay, let's go. It's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fun times. Cinder lands on the earth elementals. I'm uh, sorry, the air elementals head. I don't. It doesn't have a corporeal form. <laughs> so she's floating on top of the head. So, so she's getting caught slime. in the maelstrom of the she wind. She's down into it. Is what... <laughs> yeah, she's having fun, like swirling around, like it's like a whirlpool and everything. She's like, <laughs> uh, like, like the in, like that makes me think of the indoor skydiving. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the indoor tornado. She's got like her wings Basically, out yeah. and they're like kind of like shaking and her like arms and legs out. <laughs> I was chatting with the guy, the guy one one evening in virtual po VR poker, and uh, he was basically a a guy who does that. Like I think he like works at a place or that or he's a professional skydiver or something like that. Uh, but he like you know does time working and then it's like yeah, I'd heard about such places, but unfortunately out of my price range. 
Oh, oh you mean one of those indoor skate things? Yes. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend going into a real skydiving because I suffer vertigo, so... Yeah. yeah. I would so love to jump out of a fucking plane. I would so not. Yeah, I'm good. There's a time yeah, I'm good. A, See, I'm a person that just laughs at the face of being scared, so I feel like jumping out of a plane with a parachute would be so much fun for me. I can't, I, I can't wait till you get Why? VR and we can play. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're getting the, you're getting you're the quest. Like, Never mind. The quest sick. doesn't have, the, the doesn't the, the, the rift. Oh, that's right. If you get a, if you get an Oculus Rift, you can play Phasmophobia. But uh, if you, oh no, gotta... I'm going to be able to play Phasmophobia because I'm yeah. also thinking about getting virtual desktop to actually see how that works, and I'm also going to get the Oculus Link. Yeah, no. I'm, yeah, I'm that'll good. work. Phasmophobia and VR is fun. Mm. I like the fact okay. that it integrates with the, the you know the non VR players. Yeah. So this this fella right here will last for one hour. Cool. All right, then let's get some good use out of him. Let's do it. <laughs> we go out the door, closing it behind us. But not barring it because we can't bar it from the side. Yeah. You're going out the front door. I'm uh, thinking so. Alrighty then. I shall finally get Keeping to read you the full description of what you see as you're looking outside, which very much entertains me. <laughs> Will is standing in the back. Will is standing in the back with his elemental. Yep. Okay. That's my history page on the island. On the island. Okay, let's see. Run by water. Okay, so now that you see more than just a glimpse of the outside, uh, you look upon. Can can you guys mute or something like that? I'm sorry, I'm getting easily distracted by even small noises. It's not me, and I'm muted. Um, so as you look upon the the outside beyond the the laboratory complex you see an expanse of stone and small crystal formations here and there that stand up not, not unlike trees but not trees it's the sort of thing that would probably make your druid friend feel rather uncomfortable uh, there's a large track that leads away uh, going south that seems to go through an archway of some kind, made of, of some just more regular stone. Uh, sitting on top of the archway is a carved figure that appears to be that of a gargoyle. Right outside the door, uh, as I, I know I've I know I described it before, but there are two figures. One is nearly in front of near a uh, shuttle. I'm I'm okay. Uh, one is nearly in front of the door with its back to you. Uh, a robed fig, a robed figure. Uh, another one is a couple of um, feet down the steps. Uh, great. Now I'm forgetting which one that which one that is. Uh, I don't know if I just really described it. Or if you just, just saw it in passing. Uh, this one. Um, this one's also robed, but looks. The, the robes is not the same as the robes of the one that's higher up. Uh, there is, as I said, a, a large gravel uh, track that takes the lead south down through an archway with a carved gargoyle on top of it. Uh, the gargoyle is outwards as if to look to watch anybody coming through the, th through the archway or to, you know, just to greet them or to observe them. It's hard to tell. Uh, beyond the uh, the gravel, the gravel. But there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of feedback on on from coming from your end. I don't know what's going on there. Sorry. Um, my light. It, it's not even lighting up on my end. It was like I had a hard mute. Weird. I kept repeat. I don't know. I was hearing this noise, and then it, no. I could hear my voice repeating, and it was lighting up yours. <laughs> 
No, it's not lighting up on my end, but for some reason, like, I don't know why, it, I'll just hard mute. All right. So, that's what you see from the, from the doorway. What would you guys like to do? Hello? Trying to figure it out. Oh, sorry. That's not the kind of guy that actually, you know, makes plans for the team. I'm sorry, I was preoccupied with writing things down. <laughs> yeah, me too. No, no, I was just making sure that I... That, 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 uh, sorry. I'm handing out, I'm concentrating on both things. Welcome to the um, world. Yeah. All right. So these robed statues, how close were they? Uh, one is, I said, directly in front of you. The other one's a couple steps down, down the. Uh, thing. They're they are both with their backs to you. But this was the door that Will kind of peeked out of before. Yeah, th this is the front door. No, this is no. not the well, Yeah. Oh, this is the not the no door. Mm -mm. No, this, this is, is the, the other door. This is the front door that's like all the way down here. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, Viren. Yes. You wanted to do this. Well, it was part of our job to show that it's a hundred percent. Say. Phaedra's. Sorry. Sorry. No, you go. Nope. I interrupted. Huh? Sorry. Go. Fuck off, Rick. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I've already forgotten what I was saying, okay? I've forgotten what I was gonna say, so... Uh, Phaedra's standing there staring at the, uh... the gargoyle on top of the archway, and she's just flipping Bob, like, kind of, like... around in her hand. Not, right. yeah, she's just looking up at it. She's like, I don't fucking trust it. You basically see folded wings and a tail from, from this possession position. Yeah, you know, because of what happened in the last, uh, before she got to Waterdeep, she's throwing an axe at that thing. By the way, <laughs> it is, uh, it is right now, uh, getting towards evening. If my, wait a minute, hold on. No, actually, no, it would be morning. Never mind, so we're good. Uh, since you guys slept through, through the night. Throwing an axe at it? All right, yep. you're, you're currently at the top. How far How far does your, does your axe go? Uh, So, 30 feet. Uh, it's a bit further away than that. She'll it, move up and then she'll toss. Okay, so you pass by the two statues that are right there in front of you? Yeah. Okay, so you pass by, like, you know, both robed figures, uh, get down the steps, and get a little bit of ways into the gravel road, and um, just pitch your axe right at the back of the uh, the gargoyle sure perched on the, on, on the yep. archway. Um, well, There's a reason why she's doing this. <laughs> I think she's doing that. I'm just make gonna your, make your tackle. bodies. Will is staying... Will is staying in the back, but he's sending the air elemental up in front with Phaedra. It just basically knocks twice against the, uh, the stone gargoyle. Oh. Those are two, considered magical as well. Yeah, so it just like smashes into the back of it and seems to chip pieces, pieces of it. The tail kind of comes spilling off and falls to the ground. The gargoyle itself does not move. Okay, just needed to check. Sorry. Had a bad experience with those. Uh, meanwhile, uh, investigation roll, please, Fate of uh, Viren. Yay. So, the first statue, the one closest to you, uh, wears the robes that you've associated with the magic school. Uh, 
of course, since it's made out of stone, this looks carved. But there's a, a, a look of horror on the, uh, the stone figure's face. As if they just came to a realization as to what's what's going on here and didn't have time to stop it. Uh, the other statue uh, is bringing up an arm. Uh, it, th these robes are ones that you associate more with, probably associate more with the laboratory complex in general. Like you've seen several figures with those type of robes that all made all in stone, plus the threadbare robes of the uh, the dead gnome are similar to that as well. Um, but this one has an arm kind of pushed up, like as if they're shielding their eyes or shielding their their, their mouth. It's hard to tell. Uh, basically o pushed up over their face and they are kind of tilted a little bit to one side. Um, their other hand is up towards what you would associate with the, the badge um, that's also been turned to stone. Hmm. As, if it's, as if it's holding the badge and like, you know, as if, as if it could ward something off, like as if it's a holy symbol. But clearly it didn't work. <laughs> so a whole lot of Or turn to stone. Mm -hmm. Is there any like evidence in the ground of like roll investigation? Creature? All right. It just looks like gravel and chunks of stone occasionally uh, as you get down past the uh, the steps. Like you know, there's, there's, like you see several large chunks uh, on the ground by, at the foot of the steps, but nothing up the steps. They're just kind of laying on on the, the stone to the side. Is the complex built into anything, or is it just in the middle of a field? Like, is it in a mountain or a cliff? One second. It looks like uh, it would. It, it looks like if anything, it looks like it's probably in the middle of um, of everything. Like no real, no mountains as far as you can tell, but there's just some weird, um, you know, crystal growths here and there, and it looks like some weird, tr some weird trees made out of crystal. There's a lot of gray and stone uh, everywhere, but but you know, some of it just looks like it was growing stone but not but not the nature that we're used to like the kind of nature you might expect from the uh from the elemental plane of earth keep an ear out let's circle around the place make sure there's nothing close before we go any further out yeah probably a good idea i say we stay together though you agreed of course let's put off All right. Would it be prudent that we move stealthily? Agreed. Uh, Lunissa, okay, tell them just that's my list. Let's see. <coughs> uh, Lunissa is gonna cast a uh, pass without a trace. Okay. How many points does that cost me again? I think two. Double check that. Ouch. So everyone has a plus 10 on their uh, stuff checks. Thank you. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, that's how the thing. Good thing I did it though. Uh, oh. uh, 41. <laughs> yeah, you, you have no idea that Will's with you. He's, He's not oh, even Oh, fuck Phaedra. Goddamn. Yeah, but Phaedra is making obvious noise, yeah. Will I took mean, some. Uh, She's got a 12! <laughs> so Compared to everyone else, it's pretty bad. I mean, Urk has like five more, so. 
<laughs> I mean, same for Shiori. I mean, think I mean, about it. If there's guys. a lot of stone around and like metal, she's wearing full plate armor. It's gonna be like dung, 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 dung. Yep. <laughs> just, your, just your heavy plated dwarf. Yeah, Will is not <laughs> staying near the heavy, heavy plated dwarf. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, Vader knows to stay back. She knows she's not quiet. Yeah, she'll try to, she'll try to float a little bit to try to combat the noise. Right. But yeah. Well, all of us are just moving across this stone landscape, like, when I was here behind us. Thunk. Yeah. I'm also going to keep an ear out for any dangers. All right, perception. Same. You move out from underneath the arch. I did not mean to do that. Plus 10. I got to get rid of that. <coughs> well, we're going to go around the building first, make sure there's nothing around oh. the building. Okay, you're making a circuit of the building? Yeah, because yeah, we want to clear right. the building first, and then proceed. Right. So, forward. so you start your you start your way around the building. Uh, eventually, you do come into the, uh, the pen area, uh, and you see the open door. You see that statue with its back now turned to you. Uh, it's kind of standing there in the middle of things, and you see scattered uh, s stones on the ground uh, that look like crushed bits of statue. Uh, the gravel, there's actually is a gravel trail around this around this region, and as you make a circuit, you see that in addition to those crystalline trees, there are also these large, this like outcroppings of rock that are pushed up, kind of like mini plateaus, um, like you know probably iron ores or uh, granite. You know the, the the way that 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 striations come in those when they're uplifted. Incredible. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Okay. So you see a bunch of those, which basically obscure obscures places between the uh, the gravel path. It looks like it's been like this, for, you know, for a long time. Uh, the, considering the age of this facility, um, the gravel path looks like it's been like that for a long time too. I'm like, there's only bits and pieces of gravel like strewn here and there beyond the general path either carried by the wind or by something trotting upon it. It's hard to tell. But you continue around, and you see the occasional statue. Um, some of them are very worn and weather-beaten, and it's very difficult to tell, you know, just by looking at them, if these statues were you know, once alive or if they've just been carved. Because there are, are evidence of carved statues here as well. Like, you know, tall figures... Um, made out of stone that look like maybe they could have been stone golems, but they're not moving. Um, F oh, mm. Go ahead. Phaedra's gonna tap her eyes and uh, detect magic so she can maybe tell the difference between a carved statue and All a right. person. How the fuck do you spell gargoyle? So, G-A-R-G-O-Y-L-E. So you see the... Some of the statues... Okay. Some of the statues on the on there, especially the ones that are partly broken, um, that look like they've been weather worn, those are just statues. Uh, they somebody took the time to carve them and put them there, and they've been decaying for some long time. There are other statues, um, and the pieces of statues along the ground that clearly once upon a time were people, uh, especially with the ones that are partly crushed. Um, it's very hard to tell what they used to be. Others. Uh, Others are dressed in, like, armor or le leathers from the looks of it and are the process of, um, like, you know, raising a blade to strike or holding a crossbow. Um, some of them look like they're trying to shield their eyes or their or their fa faces in general. Others are in the process of looking like they're running, you know, running away. Uh, it's just a mix. She There's is also the occasional animal. There's, like, the occasional horse rearing up that's actually a horse... Or used to be. Um, but she is Go going to take the berries. She's got 17 berries that she collected from when Will grew the berries from the Chult tea. Holy and shit. She, yep. I, yep. That, that was like <laughs> back was, when we went on that. Shiori's backstory, like over to her village. Uh, it was like a year, a year and a half ago. ago. Like, yo, a year and a half ago. 
Yeah, so she's going to, um, as they go along, she's just going to pull that patch out and um, she'll take a, the berries and she'll smush them up with a little bit of water and she's just going to make a mark on the statues that are real people. Okay. Uh, Jesse, is Irk asking that question out loud or is are you just asking no, that question in the group? That's just a out of character question. Okay. Because it'd be so cool to have a real life, well, not real life, but D and D life, living horse, fully made out of metal. Uh, you can if you uh, artificer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, technically speaking, it's medium, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if I can. That if reminds I can me. Make one. That, that I will me. call it. I will call it the Iron Maiden. That reminds me, Jesse. Considering your your yeah, your perception check, uh, as you know, Phaedra has paused and is doing this with the berries and is marking the statues. You in the distance do hear the sound of hoofbeats. Oh, good. Oh. Wait, what? What thing? Oh, hoofbeat. Oh. As, as if as if hoofbeats are crunching along the gravel somewhere in the distance. I would imagine Phaedra. Hey guys. Horses are coming. What? I hope they're friendly. <laughs> oh, wait, you she, she, she already, right. you have plus Horses. 10 in your perception? No. Or is that, okay, 14, yeah. They just got so, a 23. They just got a 23? I didn't see your perception. Your perception it's right back. above Irks. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry, <laughs> I, was, I saw the 14. Yeah, Phaedra would definitely hear that. She Even if she's doing that, she's concentrating on her work, you do hear the sound of hoof, hoof beats crunching on gravel. Uh, guys, 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 something, like, are we fast hoof beats? Yeah, relatively fast. Something that's that, that's speeding down a gravel pathway. Yeah, something's charging at us. She's going yeah, to take point, fine. shield up, averting eyes. Uh, averting eyes. Going to Magic. do with hoof beats coming? Uh, yep. let's see. Which of the group can she see? Is Will invisible? Yes, Will is not invisible. invisible. Will is just so be- so stealth, you can't find out where he is. He he's blended in with with everything around him somewhere. I have a gray hat. For <laughs> just for because she's not cautious. Uh, she's gonna tap Lunisa and Viren on the shoulder, and she's gonna cast fly. Oh. Oh, uh, Which affects was... up to three creatures right now of her level. So I she's was... also affecting herself. I was gonna hide actually, but yeah, thanks. Oops, okay. Me. And we're gonna go. She kind of. She's thinking like a like almost like a might be possible stampede of creatures. That's what she's thinking. She's like, make sure you're off the ground. Okay, so every everyone who's flying, please put a, a wing indicator on your on your uh, on your character. I mean, she's got wing boots, so I'll put them on. Um, uh, where's my wings? The cheese taking point. I'm in flying, but I landed in the trees. There are no trees. Oh, where uh, are the? Is there what a direction? Big rock I can hide behind. There, there, there are just some bit. There are lots of big rocks everywhere. So. And occasionally crystal trees. Well, structures so, that look like trees but made of crystal. Can I so the um, here's the thing. Will is just trying to blend in by some local rocks, maybe some sharp tips. That, At the uh, moment, uh, yeah, but, but Will is blended in everywhere. Uh, Phaedra, uh, it's actually more like coming from this side. Like you guys are standing on on the, the road with the gravel. And you're hearing there's like more gravel paths than this, but you're you're here you're basically at a fork area and you're looking at the statues, and there is f- the sound of hoofbeats coming from from that direction. Then Fader's on point right here. So the thing about the air elemental though that is out in the open. All right. Uh, it can move through a space as narrow as one inch. Are there cracks around here that it can just squeeze into? Um, sure. So it just basically goes in 
between on the rocks and stuff. Yeah, so there's like partial statue here. So it does sound like a horse that's coming, right? At least. It's something hooved. That's all you know for certain. I got a feeling I know what it is. Keep in mind that even devils are hooved. Welcome to D and D. It's a it's a devil marathon uh, team. That you're out working out. You know, running in the waste. Become invisible in the <gasps> air. <laughs> There's like a flying crushed... invisible spellcaster. Yeah, there's like crushed statue, crushed pieces of statue every once in a while. In in, in the battlefield, artillery is god. Go on, Viral. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll wait to make sure that we know it's aggressive before I waste a. Okay. So, are you guys uh... st st standing around, uh, or are you going to spread out? Oh, if we can spread out. You're, I, I put you on a map, I, and I told you which direction it's coming from. It cannot move the elemental, but could it be here? Uh, behind that rock? Oh, sure. Uh, give me a second to put this under your control. Uh... Thank you. You should just put all monsters under my control. <laughs> 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 I won't do anything bad with it, I promise. Uh, Phaedra's actually going to take one step over because if this is an intact statue, whatever's charging, she doesn't want charging at a once or could be uh, future living can, person. Can, can you uh, can can you move that elemental now? Um... Yes. There you go. Uh, Urk still needs to heal himself. Yeah, Urk. Uh, you're at full health. Whoops. Make sure you have all your spell slots back, too. Yeah, make sure you have all your spell slots. Don't forget about your blade. lightning blade. Yeah, that magical sword that Lograth gave you. Oh, uh, yeah, I got that. I can't wait to use that. But <laughs> if it is a horse, I, 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 I've I got this. <laughs> Fairly certain it's not a horse. Yep. <laughs> but, but if it is... <laughs> We're in a place of pure stone. I doubt it's a horse. It, it, it could be a stone horse. No. <laughs> I'm 99 percent sure I know what it is, and it's not a good yeah. one. Well, no, if it's thing. not a horse, then it's not a horse. It should be more over here. here. Up here. So She's fallen 15 feet in the air, kind of over. What's, What's this? Statue. What is this? Statue. It is oh, these are statues. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. What's yeah. that? Crumbling statue? That's yeah. a broken statue that's been crushed okay. into into the gravel. What's this? Looks like a log. Another People? statue. Oh, cool statues. What's this? What about, what about What's this? this? It's... What's this? <laughs> you guys, you guys, you Is guys ready? Zebra? Are you guys like ready? In the air. <laughs> yeah. I mean, ready. Are you guys ready to rumble? <laughs> I'm just gonna Bring say it. That. <laughs> <laughs> so, bursting uh, from, from around some of the bigger rocks comes not one, not two, but three large metal bull-shaped creatures. Gor yep. Oh, friends! Oh, gorgeous. No, not friend at all! But these it's things the Look, hooves! Hoofs! Look how cute these are! Yeah, go give it a kiss, Erk. I, I want to keep one as a pet. No. Fuck you and your menagerie. Hey, 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 real quick though, real quick. I, I, I want one as a pet. Oh, these things are rough. Unless oh. these are monsters. Oh, fuck. You, I think oh, you could actually do that. It's not a construct, you, is it? This is going to be a real long battle. Is it a creature? They're all creatures. They're classified as monstrosities. Yeah, exactly. So, a charm monster would work. Oh on no, it. Uh, he could have his way. Yay! <laughs> what do you mean? Charm monster works on what it. What the fuck? Why is there a red eighteen in the chat? 
Because uh, one of them was the one and the other was an 18. Because I have advantage because of the shield. Uh, I love it. Wait. Out. Yeah. I forgot we have advantage with the shield. Yeah, you do have advantage with the shield, yo. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, so. Yeah. So you can add, you, you can you can manually roll for the air elemental, and you can add it to the turn roster, and then ma manually fix that. Wow. Will will we'll roll a five and a one. All right, pretty good enough. I like being after everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, air elemental. Uh, yes, I was actually going. about to say that. I just wanted to make sure we got everything on initial yeah. initiative first. All right. <laughs> Oh, I want to make one of these uh, pets, just as long as you guys don't kill it or fully attack it. <laughs> Fuck, how do you get to... Yeah, good luck with that. I mean, S if, if you guys just go for one of them and so, like, try and charm I... monster the last. Uh, so, so, who's going to lay odds on Urk dying in, in, this, in this particular adventure? Nah, nah, it'll be fine. How about a ration? Uh, Will, 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 do you want me to roll, to, to roll out elemental for you? I, yeah, I, ca I cannot get the character sheet up. <laughs> oh, well, it, 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 I said man that's why I said manually, because I, 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 elementals are potential enemies, so I didn't want to add in. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, please do. But I, I, I basically the, uh... just look in the, look, look in the, you have the monster manual, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll look. Um, you can, so you can manually roll into... its attacks. Yes, I'll do that. So, uh, Jesse, you know how there's statues everywhere? The what? What? You know the statues are right. What's that? The 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 fucking people that are you know stone. <laughs> oh yeah, the <laughs> statues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, 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 fuck you, me. I think by statue. <laughs> 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 The fucking ground! No! The people! Uh, <laughs> You're talking about that rock over there, points at a statue! What is it, Lunissa? Uh, I did say I would like to hide it before I haven't rolled for Okay. Roll your hide. Okay, oh, yeah, you're, you're. As far as you can tell, you're hidden. Um, yeah, that's plus ten, plus. Chris, plus ten, so it's, oh, it's thirty-five. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna oh, get. Shit. At least I'm not gonna get charged by these boys. Okay, uh, so uh, with that, uh, somebody else can explain to Irk what's going on here. Uh, I think we're gonna take was. a quick. We're gonna take a quick break. And that, that's the only reason <laughs> yeah. I hadn't called it yet because that that explanation is just hilarious. So, so, so Jesse. Yeah. You know how dragons have a breath weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know about that. Oh, they yeah. do, too. You see the fucking oh. breath. <laughs> Yay! A 30 foot cone of fuck you, you're now stone. Uh, at least I'm flying, right? <laughs> Are you out of 30 foot range of them? We'll find out. <laughs> Shit. I already have my plan. I'm gonna run away and throw them. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I already, ha I already have my plan for the first turn. It's called invisibility and out of reach. Please don't think, tell think, me. Think about it. Think about the juicy fireball, though, Viren. Juicy fireball. Come on. Hey, I'm I'm yeah. <laughs> fireball has a 150 oh, foot wait, range. Wait, wait, wait. Are these, for 30 feet of them. <laughs> are these actually made out of metal? Yeah. I, I so. I do I have heat metal. metal. Oh my god, I just removed heat metal, I think. Oh, I do have heat metal. Uh, um, if someone fucking crash, you have advantage on the deck rolls. No, I oh have my. heat metal. Its I have body heat metal. is covered in iron plates. Yeah, it's iron. I hey, have heat hey, metal hey, too. Yo. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, real quick though. If we heat metal these things, will it even damage them or will they become I'm, I'm heat just... fucking goggles? Here's the I'm thing. Will can't Fire. heat metal them because that's a concentration spell. Oh, it is. Uh, but, I can do. I can. But you know, but you know, I cannot heat metal, but my air elemental can yeet metal. <laughs> <laughs> Just picks them up and throws them back in the bushes. <laughs> I have an idea. Like, why don't you throw them in the water? There is no way they can get out, but there is no. I don't water. know if this map actually represents the area well enough. <sighs> 
If there was a lake, yeet. though, yeet them in the lake, like, there's no way they can get out of that. Well, what you do is you just yeet them straight up. Oh, no, fall As down. far as you can go, oh, and no, then they come down. <laughs> no, don't yeet them right up, then, then you lead them into a deck range. Let's see here. Ah, but it's a strength oh, saving throw. Once we realize what they can do, we can all get out of their range. Oh, uh, don't worry. I'm gonna make sure I'm out of range of anything. I'm gonna go really Wait high. A sec. What happens <laughs> if I if I right if I charm monster right and get it to attack its friends? Um, the pants not if Risk will allow that because that's not how the spell works. I think. What it could turn them into stone, and then we've only got one to deal with. I have a feeling they're probably immune to the whole petrifying thing. I think most things that petrify are immune to it, like how devils and demons are immune to fire damage. But that's a <coughs> devil. Look, <laughs> man, I'm just thinking of things here. I'm gonna be honest. I'd rather fight a demon or a devil than this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, guys, the, the, oh, they're, they're only CR5. Yeah, it's not <laughs> like if we roll bad, it's a TPK. Or hey, hey, Grizz, if I if I do charm the very last monster, can I get it to attack its friends and then turn them into stone or no? I'm not telling you. <laughs> the, they're breathing out the, the gas that petrifies things. I think they're kind of immune to it. Yeah. Maybe. Also, but most things they turn it, to. Uh, the weapons that people are holding are they made out of stone? Because if they're not, they they are made of metal, so they wouldn't be affected by it either. No, I think they turn flat into stone. Okay, what happens? Uh, mm, Chris probably wouldn't give us an answer, but would heat metal actually make them more buff, or would it actually damage them? Again, you don't know. I, I might hate get try, <laughs> Just try it, Jesse. Yeah, it try should it. work. Ever, ever I'll, heard I'll... of the trial and error? Yeah, yeah I mean... true. Well, can, I could possibly cast that while flying upwards into the sky. My guess would be they're not immune to fire damage, so I think it should work. Wait, who were flying again? Because it's Shuri. I'm flying. Uh, Shuri, I'm flying. I'm flying. I got wings. Oh, oh, you got wings, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Why can everyone fly? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't need to fly, I can jump. Fury so allows me to fly, me jump. Uh, Fury allows me to fly. That's yes. how I can fly. Oh, wait a second. What happens if they're filled with this gas so that you use heat metal and it explodes? You I have mean, no idea. That might kill one of them oh. all in the air. Like, I'd say make him explode. That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> now I'm kind of sad that I rolled low on the initiative. Yeah. The, th yeah. the thing is, it's not because they're breathing out gas that the gas is flammable. Because not all gases are flammable. You, you, you don't know that. I mean, not all gases are flammable. I don't know if they are f that gas is flammable, though. I don't. That's kind yeah. of what it is. <laughs> But again, it is gas. <laughs> I should make a... But adding heat to a, con a metal container filled with gas, would that not possibly, you know, if they're trying to keep the gas contained, would it not expand? Uh, it would cause problems if there's no way for the gas to escape. Yeah, exactly. So it would have to expurge all of its gas or explode. I mean, I don't know <laughs> about that, man. What happens if these are just metal things, right, with an outer shell, and the gas is their brain sort of thing, right? Oh my like the only thing inside them is the gas, and then they let out all of their gas at once. Mm -hmm. Would they just fall and die or not have any gas attacks? Even more fun, just cover their mouths and nostrils and then just cool them down and then they'll implode. <laughs> uh, also, I don't think that my lightning uh, sword would 
uh, you know, do anything to these guys? I mean, arguably, it could do more to these guys because some things with lightning do more effect on things where True. Uh, played. Have you never played Pokemon? Metal. Yeah, metal. Yeah. yeah. Have you never played Pokemon? Yeah, so the, the, the electricity would flow through them harder than it would flow through this. Uh, this is what I hate about conducting things. Uh, it's uh, like no, with the heat metal, it can conduct the heat metal and then use uh, it to its advantage. Th think about it this way. The less resistance something has to something, the more danger it is to get hit by it. Uh, by electricity, I mean. The less uh, electricity resistance you have, uh, the less ohm you have, the more dangerous electricity becomes. That's... Uh, Electricity of one amp is pr probably enough to kill you. Okay, well, human being. I mean, when it's my turn, I might do the lightning bolt right at the start. And because it, that could go with through them, couldn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, lightning yeah. bolt with the line thing. Yeah, that would hit all three of them if you do it from the right angle. Granted, that is if they don't stampede over us first. I mean, I get to go first before them anyway, so yeah. Oh, me too, nice. Uh, but Will is kind of on the shit hand on one of them. And if the worst thing about it is that the first one right at the front gets to go first. And then Will. Question is, does it know where Will is? Because if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it goes for something in front of it straight ahead. So here's, here's my great... Would you be very sad if one of them got moved? Got moved? How do you mean got moved? What? <laughs> like 20 feet in a, diff in a random direction. Got moved. Uh, 20, feet. I mean, okay. uh, 20 feet back at their own people. Loki I can't. My... It's random. It's uh, random. You know, <laughs> you never I, know, I'd say that's a great idea. But what if you threw like one behind us and then we'll, we're getting flanked by two? Yeah. I think that's a bad. <laughs> bad well, problem. that's a you problem, not a me problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Turn turn one, I can fly sixty feet into the air, fireball. And then next turn, invisibility. <laughs> I don't know how far I can fly with these. I forgot what the things are flying do again. It's on there somewhere. They'll, they allow yeah. flight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if they didn't allow flight, though. Okay, wings of flight. While wearing this cloak, you can use an action to speak its command line this turn. So the cloak into a pair of bat wings, which it is, or bat wings, meh. On your back for one hour until you repeat the command word. The wings give you a flying speed of 60 feet. Yeah. And when they disappear, I can't use them again for another 12 hours. Why is every spell fucking concentration? So that means I can fly 60 feet into the air, couldn't I? Yeah. Yep. Okay, Because cool. you're a druid. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. <laughs> oh, you're talking to the statue over here? This one? <laughs> oh, wait, hold up, hold up. You, you're talking to this statue? Yeah. Well, that's close enough. Great, now I've got that song stuck in my head because me and Jet was playing fucking Star Wars The Old Republic. Oh, it's such a good game because I'm such an evil bastard. <laughs> And every single time when we have the option to either choose the dark side or the light side, I'm always going dark, and he's always going light. <laughs> also, <laughs> technically, you did choose a light side option once. Once. What was that for again? Uh, the Order of Revan. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, because I was like, hells yeah, let's fuck with the, with the, with the Sith people. <laughs> Technically, in my case, that was more Sith than being Sith. <laughs> <laughs> to go like to be even more Sith than I have to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, and now we're on a brand new planet. Hells yeah. Also, I found another fan, so I now have two fans going at the same time on me. It's that freaking hot. Really need a second fan? I mean, I've only got like a pedestal fan and a fucking desk fan, so. Well, not really a desk, it's a bit bigger to be a desk fan, but still a small fan. It's why I think that I've got a freaking cold because a couple of days ago it was actually quite full and now I've got a sniffly nose. Shit. Fuck the heat. Uh, God damn it. <sighs> I guess we're just waiting for shuttle. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I wonder what she's doing. I wonder if she got another sandwich. Like she does with almost every single D D game. <sighs> I'm back. Yay! Whoa! Welcome, Welcome back. back. Ready to die? Nope. Oh. Not today, <laughs> Satan. Yes, Satan. Oh, you call it Satan. Okay. You. Well, Phaedra <laughs> is up first. Oh, she is? Okay, cool. Okay. Even though that she got a nat one on it. <laughs> no, the first I get adva she gets advantage, so yeah. Okay. Um, these things are charging forward. Mm -hmm. Um, seeing that there are multiple of them, she's not going to take the blow. So she will fly up. All right. 30 How, feet. All right. Can you put a, a three or on 25? your wing? 25. Uh, this is still put a three. Uh, well, put a two on your on your wing then. Okay. <laughs> so that I know approximately how high up you are. There we go. Uh, and then uh, at the front one. Okay. Uh, let's see. What are we gonna do? Can she see that these things are made out of metal? Um, yeah, she should be able to. As a dwarf, she'd have a, have a good keen eye at, at noticing that. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do two bolts of Eldritch Blast. The front one. All right. Miss. That one hits. You can see a ripple of the cold energy um, zooming around some of the, the metal plates. It doesn't seem to slow the Gorgon down, though. Okay. That's what I was testing. Uh... And she'll send Cinder up even further, so Cinder's way high above her. All right. What's her turn? Viren. Viren is going to fly the full 60 feet up into the air. Alright, put a six on your wing. And cast a fireball right here. Okay. 
Oh, you have the the spells. So pull out your pull out your spell, uh, and drop it down on there. Ah, uh, what did I just? Ah, uh, ah. Uh... Fireball. All right. What's the damage? Yeah. Damage coming at level six. I'll fail that. Fail, so they take 36 fail. points of damage. Okay. Anything else you can do, Viren? Uh, nope. Just really high in the air now. Okay. The air elemental comes out from the cracks in the stone, goes 75 feet, flying in this direction, just zooms across the ground. And this one twice. It can, move, seven, it, it can, it can move 75 feet? It can move 90 feet flying. Nice. Okay. Make your attack. All right. Uh, let's see, type this. Uh, slam. Scroll down to it. One D eight plus one D twenty eight. Copy. So first a hit. That's a miss. Wait, what did it roll? Why does it look like that? I don't know. That also misses. Darn. Uh, I just want to point out something to... We're level level, right? No. Yes. Correct? Yeah. Uh, I figured you forgot one more blast. Do we get three? Yep. Oh, fuck me. Because cantrips increase at level 11. And cantrips go by... Uh overall level, not the level of your particular Correct. class. That's one of the fun oh. things about multi-classing warlocks. Ah, cool. Well, thank you, Fluffy. Do mm -hmm. you mind... Can I roll that, or for a future? Grizz. Well, I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Can I roll that, or just future knowledge? You can roll that. Three? Okay. No, it's been a while since we cast spells. It's been a while. <laughs> hmm. Very fluffy. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, okay. There, that's done. Shuri. All right, we're gonna move ten feet closer here, but we're also gonna go forty feet up to be about fifty-five feet in the air. She doesn't want to be with near these things, and she's gonna go more range for this one until she knows what the hell they are. Uh, and we're going to uh, Elders Blast the one in the front. Sorry, cat being cat. Uh, so, bop. Bop. And bop. Okay. Following the one in the front, correct? Correct. Okay. <clears throat> Eric. Yeah. Uh, basically, pretty sure about this. Yeah, he's basically gonna be doing that, but it's a hundred feet in a line, and he's gonna do lightning bolt with the sword. That's I don't know why rage is on. Rage is not on. 
<laughs> anyway, and then straight after that, they'll be flying up into the sky. Okay, make sure to put the, the <sighs> men feet in without the zero on your uh, wing thing, so they know how high up you are. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. Which is 60. That is a 100-foot um, line, so... Yeah, but he cast it directly at that one, and it therefore it dispersed beyond that. Yeah, it was in the light, it, so it hits if, all of them. No, you specified this one. No, no, no. It's in a line, so technically speaking, it'd be in a line from him. Were Were you fly, were, were you were you flying at the time? Just levitating off the ground, okay. being prepared. Okay, that's different. <laughs> uh, I I would just double check. That's why I said straight after that. That's when he starts flying straight into okay, the air. Okay, that's what I was double checking. <laughs> and I don't know how to do that six thing. How do you How do you do that? Uh, what you do is you hit the wings and you hit a number. So you hit like six. If you go 60. Yeah. I like, I like you, the you click on your token, you go down to the little like, icon circle thing, not the cog thing. Hover over the wings and then you click a number. You don't it's need so to sure. click it at all. You just click a number, essentially. So your cursor should be over the wing symbol? Like, can I click on my character? Click on your character. Yep. Click the little button on the bottom. Not the gear, but the other one. Yep. Highlight the, the wing symbol that's in the, the blue square, and then hit the number. Oh, okay. I didn't know that I actually had to press a six on my keyboard. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's voice activated. <laughs> we'll talk about how numbers work, and or more rather, how keyboards work, and how statues work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. Shush. Hey, I told him. I told him. Er I told him earlier what wings do. When this, uh... <laughs> what are wings? <laughs> Vanessa, um, yeah, I'm gonna throw a knife. At the... Which one? At the first one. Okay. Knife advantage because he hasn't gone yet. I have sneak attack. Let me click my 50 damage modifiers. <laughs> <laughs> that hits. Now that Gorgon go goes flopping to the ground and just skids in in into the gravel. And then I'll throw my other dagger. So then this one. I went badly on initiative on these things. That one however miss misses. <laughs> uh, bonus action, activate flame tongue, and um, movement is just going to be flying straight up. Like, what what fly speed do I have? Sixty. You guys are all flying. Wow. Not will. Sixty feet up in the air. Melissa, Eric. Yeah. Oh my God. We're flying. What hey, listen, I'm not. I haven't stopped flying. I'm. I need to go higher. It's <laughs> <laughs> well, going to the moon. <laughs> there are two moons on this world. Which one? I don't. I don't acknowledge one of them. <laughs> there's a red one and there's a blue green one. I don't acknowledge. <laughs> All right. Will it goes five, ten, fifteen. 20 and 25 and scampers up on a rock. Uh, guess he's no longer hidden technically because he was just hidden. So he's the only one visible right now. But I guess along the way he uses his action to go totally invisible with the hood. Okay. Bill puts so, his hood on. 
Uh, yeah, that's his action. Uh, bonus action. There's not a lot of spells for that. No, I don't think he does anything. Will does nothing. Also, quick question. Where are we? Like, are we outside? Or? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. We went out the front door. You're outside. Looking at, uh, at, uh, there's no We walked around the there. base. It's all, it's, all, it's all stone. See, the way... Okay, no worries. And it's a bit the way work. the outside world works is that there's no <laughs> oh, ceiling. Oh, fucking God. We're <laughs> <laughs> talking about five-finger death punch, man. I mean... <laughs> 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 fucking Sorry. Fucking I'm, no I'm, I'm just gonna... <laughs> shut the fuck up now. Aww. Aww. Come on, Jesse. I just it's, lost it's the way wheel. Soon I'll, twice soon I'll ask. Outside. This is no ceiling. Soon, soon I'll ask. What are rations? So <laughs> this gorgon um, angles its its head up and spews its breath right up towards uh, Phaedra, who's only twenty five feet up. Con save, right? Yep, Constitution saving throw. Come on, Phaedra, you can do it! Oh. Yay! <laughs> Oh, God. The tongue begins to turn to stuff. Whoa, okay, sorry. Uh, did the air elemental strike at that one as it passed by? Well. Wait, sorry? It passed oh. by your air elemental. Did, did, did you wish to use your attack of opportunity on that one? Yes, he will. So that should be another one of these. And that misses. Hooray! The other Gorgon <laughs> streaks by underneath the... Um, <laughs> Underneath Phaedra, and also uses petrifying breath. Okay. Come on, Phaedra. Of all the people that can get hit by it, it's best for the one with fucking plus yeah. eight. Wait. Hmm. That's not poison, is it? Mm. Nope. Darn. Yeah, nope, it advantage. <laughs> Phaedra, there are two Gorgons. Uh, uh, underneath of you. What do you do? Oh, well, they made a poor decision, didn't they? Okay. Let me think. Um... How long would you say that uh, we were bracing for them running? Did we see them in the distance by chance? You heard them co coming. Uh, so 30 seconds. Okay. Never mind. Then. Yeah, fuck this thing. Uh, so let's do... Yeah. Two more hand axes. Uh, we'll go for the one that was in. This one was the one she attacked first. Or not two more. That attacked her hand first, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. One. Miss. Oof. Definitely a miss. Okay. Um, and How then... many hand axes do you have, by the way? I am a warlock with enhanced pack weapon. Ah, and okay, so they, they come back to your is... hand. Never mind. Never mind. Bob is. Sorry, I was looking back to your silver time. hand axes before before you went with uh, Bob. My bad. Yeah. Very good. Um, so she's going to fly up higher, and so yeah, Gorgons will... are only really large, not not huge. Okay, so we'll go. Uh... She'll go another 25 up, so that'll bring her to... 250, which means you're at 5. Yep. You are 5 feet below me. <laughs> cool. Viren. Isn't she always? Oh. <laughs> Viren's Listen. gonna go over here. Listen, no. Then he's gonna fly <laughs> 30 more feet up. <laughs> Baffling. <laughs> and then... 
A. <laughs> What's that? Is Ed in range? I don't think so, right? No. 60 feet. 60 feet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to hit anyone. <laughs> the battlefield was a bomb armor. <laughs> okay. Make your, make, your, make your damage roll. Oh, God. I made a bomber. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> Don't have a pretty good wizard fly. You can make a bomber airplane. Oh, come on! How? You've been rolling really low on the saving throws today, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, I know. The third one's dead, Jesse. I thought you guys said that this was gonna be a quick get, a long battle. <laughs> well, then everyone started flying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the Gorgons rolled really low on their initiative. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, to be fair, sure didn't think Gorgon, she fought Stampede. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm still not done flying up. Air Elemental. You're gonna go higher next turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Air Elemental pushes through the heat wave and goes <laughs> for this one. Oh, I hate to bring this up. Did that fireball destroy these two statues, people? Uh, no, the fire fireball did not. Oh, sweet. Miss, and that one hits. Hooray, oh, I, I get the roll damage. Uh, what is the damage? 2d8 plus 5. The statue's just a little charred. Now it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Whack! <laughs> Whack! Huh, hold on. What? Two slam attacks, one of the creatures on the Each creature in the middle of the space moves there. Ah, no, that's an action. I used my action to attack. Yeah. I can't. Shuri, yeah. your turn. Hmm. I know I can technically do more attacks, but which one looks like they're the worst off? The one the air elemental just hit. Alright. She's going to look at that one, and she's just going to kind of clang the sword against the her shield, and she's casting Toll the Dead. Okay. For whatever reason, it's only doing 2d12. I need to fix that. So Whew, it survived that. Whew. And I will fix that... Are we Anything really else? using cantrips against? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you wish to do, Shiri? That's, most, that's my ranged attack. Uh, yeah, I don't have any ranged level spells, by the way. <laughs> well, like it's not concentration, and I don't so want which one looks to fly more when everyone's dead. flying. <laughs> like what? With this one? Yeah, this the, one the, one the, the one that the air elemental hit. Yeah. Well, then he'll fly up another forty feet. I don't know. How to do? Uh, wait. Just yeah, hit no. uh, hover zero. He'll he'll do he'll he'll do another. Uh, oh wait, hold up. Uh, Six nine. 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 <laughs> uh, he'll fly up another thirty. Go right above this guy, and he's going to. Tommy hummy ha. Literally, straight down onto him at fourth level. Right on top of him. Come here! How many times per day can you can you use that spell? If I forgot what the. Uh... I actually don't know if Because I seem to recall uh, that I I put in conditions on that. Each creature, uh, no, 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 no! It should be on your weapon. Makes- it should be on your weapon. I put I, I put down how many times a day you can use that. So it should be on my weapon? Lightning yeah, let me double check. Counts as magic. I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Lightning bolt. Up to two creatures. Uh, uh. Uh, once per day. Is it? Yeah, I just opened up uh, all the way on the bottom, lightning blade, and it says once per day you can cast lightning bolt through the blade. 
Yeah, so we can, uh, we've already used okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. Never mind. He will, uh, real quick, let me check. Okay, never mind. He, he's going to stay at, uh, 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 six. Sorry, did not know that it was only once per day. You have and to read your going... over your entire weapon. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't see anywhere for that one. Anyway, he's going to cast, uh, uh, heat metal on it at level four. <clears throat> oh. uh, okay. Something stuck in my throat. There we go. Oh, you're not isn't, long, John. Isn't it a touch? No, it's range of 60, 60 feet. 60 feet. Yeah, it's oh. range 60 feet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Six, only 60 feet up. Uh, let's see here. For some reason, I thought it was a touch. I thought it was too until my drink is done. Oh. <laughs> It's fine. Wildfires, druids are fun. Jeez. And it resisted so that. only takes five damage. No, it's a cantrip, it? so none damage. That's not a cantrip. Isn't it's it? Not a I thought it was. It's a transmutation. Ah. Uh, the creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or drop the object if it can. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. Uh, oh, eight, it's uh, constitution saving throw to keep the item on. Ends. It's not to resist the damage. Okay. Well, it's not like it's an item, so I'm going to have to double check that to see if that uh, connection... Uh, I right, just post, post the text of the spell. There we go. Yeah. Uh, it specifies manufactured metal object. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, like you can't actually problem. use that. On... Oh, you can't? It's not a construct. Yeah. It, this ah, is a creature with ah, a, it's ah, made of metal. It doesn't count as a contract. Okay. God damn it! Yep, I'm it says manufa specifies manufactured metal object. <laughs> manufactured. Can I shatter them? Uh, I, I could. Can I actually shatter in the air? Uh, how far away can you cast Shatter up to? 60 feet. Then, yeah. That's Target up to you. you choose within range. A sudden loud ringing noise. And you should have, you should have Shatter, let's see, on the under spells. Yep. yep. So, drag and, drop you your only... drag and drop your Shatter. Yeah. This one? Right. No, 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 no! It's under spells. That I have the listing of what of uh, of uh, it, so it shows the range of sh how far of the range. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, shatter. Can I only really cast it on himself, like Buzz. directly below him? Yeah. So basically, it'd only be hitting that guy. No, away. it would be that hitting the awesome. air elemental, the other gorgon, and that statue. If you did that. Phaedra, now the statue's gone. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> so, Urk, are you casting that spell? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, make make the, make the damage roll then. Okay, now I'll cast this at level four. Because... And what is your, what is the DC? Because I already got a 19 on the on, on that. DC 17, yeah. Yeah, and is, is it half damage or full damage? Uh, or half damage or no damage? Or, 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 Inorganic material? It, the the Gorgon's counter is organic. Metal mm. has disadvantage. It has disadvantage on the saving throw. Alright. So, if it's. So it'd be a 9 for it, wouldn't it? No, gorgons are a little weird because it's they are made out of metal, but it's something that's like twisted, so it's not considered. That's what Chris said. It's considered yeah. or, they're considered organic because they've been warped and twisted by. I remember Matt Mercer's description of them mm -hmm. in Critical Role. So they are organic. They're yeah. metal, but it's not manufactured metal. It's like that they've yeah, been like and, and it's not yeah, it's not considered a construct, and it's mm -hmm. not. It's. It, when it's talking about a creature made of inorganic material, it's talking about something that's, uh, you know, hasn't been grown. Being created? These, like, the, these beings are different. They are, they are technically, while well, technically metal, they are not inorganic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think of them kind of like, um, 
like living metal essentially. Yeah. Like, ah shit! Metal, wasn't meant to press that one. Live. Yes. Uh, so 50... I don't see anything about taking half damage. Or half as much on save. It's right uh, there. Half, yeah. Half as much. Wait. There so is... yep. So mm -hmm. let's see. That is twenty. So both of them well, take half as much damage. Uh, Air Elemental also needs to roll. <clears throat> Constitution! What about. Uh, no, not Phaedra, because she's not uh, on the ground, is she? Uh, Will? Yes. Uh, you need to roll for the Air Elemental. Right. What does the saving throw? Con save. Con save Con 17. Save. And that, sh that 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 statue shatters into pieces. Damn it. Yeah. Shit. Sorry. What uh, damage is it? Shit. Uh, it's, thunder. It's, yeah, fifteen thunder. Half damage. Resistance. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. nice. Ooh. Hey, that works out. Also, so sorry, Phaedra, for breaking one of the statues. What was the People. damage? Oh, 22, 11. Right. Remember, yeah, Urk is also kind of stupid, so... <laughs> Who knows, that statue might have been a... Dick. Statue statue. <laughs> no, that was, that was definitely one of the statues that Phaedra had marked as being a living person. We can cobble them back together. <laughs> <laughs> You know how hard that is to do. Mm -hmm. You 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 need a a a, a it's very like special. A, it's like a one thousand piece puzzle. You're yeah, and you time. need and you need universal <laughs> um universal adhesive to do that. I don't think you have that. <sighs> I mean, I'm sure some woodcraft glue could would just work. Melissa, I'm sure mending could work. Actually, yeah. it, it it doesn't. What really? I am gonna throw more daggers at this guy. Okay. But I'm gonna have to get a bit closer because I don't have that much range. Uh, yeah, I bonus action activated my dagger, so. Flame tongue. Miss. Uh, okay. Uh, dagger, venom. That one hits, and that particular Gorgon fall falls. Uh, and then um, bonus. Uh, mm, how bad is this one looking? Very bad. I will fly over them, and I'll action. No, not action search. Uh, flurry of blows. The monk action search. <laughs> yeah, what? And and that's enough to uh, to down it. Well, X still fine. Congratulations. I well, can hear a little bit of resentment in that voice. <laughs> <laughs> While they're um, still flying uh, this high up, can Phaedra just kind of survey the area just to see if she Real can perception. see? Yeah. Anything else that could be of danger or points of interest? Yeah. Um, Baron will. Also... Yeah. Mostly looking for more of those things. So, uh. Not too far off, in two different directions, but seemingly heading in this direction, uh, you see dust trails kicking up into uh, up into the sky that imply that there are two other sets of gorgons heading your direction. It's, but they're like some ways away. Uh, which where'd you ping? I didn't see it on the map. Sorry. I'm not pointing on the map because they're coming basically in two different directions. Like think, uh, north and, and west probably. Uh, oh, okay. They're far enough away that that you can easily get out, you know, go somewhere else. Um, 
you can also at this at this height uh, sort of see the lapping ocean. You also see that there are other gravel paths, that there are uh, very various archways, lots of those little uh, stone, you know, look like natural stone formations that uh, can have plenty of hiding spaces and dens and warrens, okay. uh, as well as other small points of statues here and there. Uh, and, vocal- and small groups of, uh, of crystalline trees. There you go. Uh, she'll vocalize that to the group, saying, looks like we have some dust com- kicking up from the north and the west. Possibly more incoming. Do we want to... This seemed like a pretty good um, tick. We are here to clear the out. We could either seek one of them out, but this doesn't, my effect doesn't last as long as I would like. How long does it last for? Ten minutes. Okay. Which just mostly so fall to their death like Aaron who's 90 feet in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, time is of the essence, y'all. Do we want to move along or do we these issues? Because it looks like two more groups coming this way. Could we take them on the roof? Of the... You're, you're a little bit away from that structure at the moment. Uh, the, the battle was less than a minute, Jesse. Cool. That means he still has 59 minutes left of flight. <laughs> well, considering he's sitting here talking, it's probably been about two minutes now. So. 58. <laughs> 57. No, no. Two more minutes. God damn it. <laughs> 57. Take it. Believe it. She's like, I can cast this once more before I have nothing. And it'll last about an hour seven minutes. Varen, Will, Lunisa, what do you want to do? I'm fine with whichever one gets us going the fastest, because I, I really don't want to too much. I want to go kill that kill and cool guy, so whatever makes it so we get to that job quicker. Preferable. Okay. Varen, Will? Well, they're coming, they're coming this 